blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Here is Edwards, following the score by Walt Frazier. Edwards drives in. Rebound by the Bulls. Yeah, you won't see him miss many dunks unless you've got somebody right in his face, as was the case there on that possession. Mm -hmm. Good. And, and Duncan just superb when he gets in close to the basket. He has a number of moves to choose from, and that soft, delicate touch near the rim. Here's Bosch. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And so Edwards will bring it up for Boston. They trail by seven. It's stolen by Frazier. And here's the fast break. And Duncan throws it down hard. Using those sidelines to find an open guy and be always ready to deliver. Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does great. And that's how you do it, guys. Ball pressure and then get some run out. Wade dishes to Duncan. In time. Tight defense there. Large one. It's like a big cat. The combination of elite speed and power. Jim Duncan has been on display for Chicago. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Right now, it's their passing game. And it's been on point. Doing a great job of moving it around and getting the ball to their shooters. And something else that I liked is how they attack the paint. Finding ways to get inside and capitalize time and time again. So with Pippen sitting on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. Bird out there with McHale. Then there's Irving. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Robinson. And at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That one falls. Robinson. Robinson's got his first points of the night. I love watching Robinson work there in the paint. Possesses that strength and touch around the basket. And out of bounds as Chicago gains possession. Chicago leading by seven. Anthony against Bird. The kick out to Irving and stolen by James. Wow, the athleticism of LeBron James. And in the history of the game, few players LeBron's size have handled the ball as well as he does. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Makes a noise. Duncan, he's checked in for Robinson. Pippen comes in for Larry Bird. And Irving subbed in for Jalen Brunson. And we've played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Pippen kicks to Irving. Back to Pippen. Pass to Irving. Outside Pippen over Anthony and Pippen with the basket. The assist from Julius Irving. Pippen's got six. 
practically automatic shot there by Pippen. He knows he just needs the ball, and then he is good to go. Or three, Westbrook. Davis finds Martin. The shot that time, not on target. Some solid defense there from Irving. Duncan left side. Passes to Irving. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Pocket six, and it's McHale at the elbow. Fires away from way outside. James with some nice deep. Celtics trail by seven. Anthony down low. Pippen on him. Martin's in the post, covered by Duncan. And it's Martin missing. And here's Duncan. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Only given up two points this quarter. Irving passes to Pippen. Irving drives in. That falls nicely on the feed that Assistant time from Pippen. Scottie Smith, who are some of your favorite teammates during your 14 years in the league? Kevin, there's so many. Glenn Rice, Kimbe Mutombo, Ronnie Cycli, Kevin Willis, Stacey Alban, Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, and the list goes on. I mean, it's amazing to watch AD at his size dance with the rock and create space for his shot. Irving dishes to Pippen. A three. Kicks it out to McHale. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Fires from deep. Sinks the triple. Kevin McHale's got the lead up to 10 now for the bull. Love a big man who can pass. Great instincts. Duncan finds the open man there for the bucket. Kicks it out to James. Outside Westbrook. Martin wide open. He fires. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The Bulls leading by 10. The kick out to Irving. Two to the middle. It's stolen by Davis. Two minutes. Down low. And finished off by Martin. Savvy play by Carmelo. He knows the defense expects him to fire, so he makes a pass to an open teammate. The Bulls have gone 4 of 7 from the field in this second quarter so far. McHale can't get it to go. The Celtics have gone 3 of 7 shooting the ball here in the second quarter and stolen by Irving. Duncan kicks to Irving. Back to Duncan. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Duncan's got 10 points. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. It's tipped. He's looking for McHale and finds him. Irving finds Pippen. The bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. And now a 12-point Chicago lead. 
in terms of guards, Kyrie is as good as anyone inside. Unreal finish around the rim. And it's a defensive three-second violation. Austin shooting their first free throw of the game right now. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. And the technical free throw missing that time. They'll retain possession here, however. Kevin Garnett, he's checked in for Martin Davis. That shot off. Duncan with some nice deep. Pippen against James. And so the ball out of bounds. Davis touched it last. Shea Gilgis Alexander has checked in for Russell Westbrook. Number 20, Shea Gilgis Alexander. Here's Irving. The 12 point lead, their biggest of the game. Kicks it out to McHale. And slam dunk by McHale. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little bit. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. Gilgis Alexander against Irving. Pippen misses. From deep, James, and the last shot before the buzzer is off. The the and so half. it's Chicago, enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot. Kyrie, what were you all focusing on coming into the game tonight? So I come out with a you know intense focus and intensity that you know other teams can't match. Just doing whatever it takes to you know keep our tempo. Um, you know guys are in a in a great rhythm when we have a great tempo. So just trying to get everybody involved and do whatever it takes to win. Well, we'll see if you can keep playing at your pace in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. with the second half upon us we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be one of the top stories here Tim Duncan getting it done today yeah it's been a great performance from him really staying focused on quality shots and many of those quality shots have been jumpers a very high percentage of those Joel in the first Indeed. half they've got Elijah on John Morant he's out there with Anthony Edwards then there's Bosch and it's Butler at the small forward. And that's the group for Joe Mazzula as we begin the second half. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. Here's Edwards. Out to Morant. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And when you're trying to cut into a lead, can afford mistakes like that. You know what it is. A lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. The Celtics making a switch here. He'll just Alexander's checked in. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. And the shot goes in from MB. Not a big fella. MB making it look too easy. Here's Edwards. Good D by MB. Chicago leading by 16. Wade passes to Embiid. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer. Elijah Wan with the rebound. The Celtics shooting at 50% in a decent group. Edwards with it. Guard is out by Duncan. And then Bosch with the jam. And I like that. Edwards comes off the pick, keeps his options open, and then just makes the right read. Driving inside. To the wing on the left. Embiid finds Duncan. Rebound, Boston. 
Bosch has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Edwards, and Edwards with the stop. And he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two and jam. Pippen with a wide open look. The basket good off the assist from Wade. Three points. Wade's got three assists tonight. The combo guard Wade, not just a scorer, but a shrewd passer as well. Well, they're passing to Elijah Wan. Nice ball movement by Boston. Out to Edwards. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And it's easy to give up after a play like that, but this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court, but you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. Embiid dishes to Frazier. Fires high post. Rebound by Butler. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, last season, the NBA created newly designed trophies to honor the major player awards. Each is named after an NBA legend, including Michael Jordan, Akeem Olajuwon, Jerry West, Wilt Chamberlain, John Havlicek, and George Mikan. Kevin, while the honor itself will always matter most, Whoa. some hardware with a famous player name isn't hurting anybody's hopes. Back to you. I agree, David. Thank you. Here is Edwards following the score by Walt Frazier. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Frazier. Frazier's got 11. Well, Wade knows he's at his best when he's getting teammates involved. Good look. Pippen with the steal. Here's Wade. That's good, Wade, and that's Embiid with the assist. assist from and the Bulls Joel lead by 21. Embiid. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused, and they've executed. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. And they double up Embiid. And it's Wade in the corner. Inside. Pippen kicks to Wade. Back to Pippen. Five to shoot. Puts the move on. And it's shipped in by Bosch. For using that length on defense, Bosch positioning himself well to come up with the block. Al Gasol is checked in for the Celtics. Martin comes in for Chris Bosch. And Chicago also making a switch. Bird, he's checked in for Pippen. Celtics trail by 21. Gilgis Alexander with it. Guarded now by Larry Bird. And finished off by Martin. And how about the explosive leaping ability by Martin? A big time dunker who enjoys getting this close to the basket. Now here's Wade. Out to Bird. Here's the three. Drills it from outside. Larry Bird. Bird's got his first three points of the game. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Back to Martin. Outside, Edwards. Pass to Gasol. Butler on the way. Bird cover. Butler pass to Gasol. Chicago grabs the miss. Three-pointer by Embiid. That one misses. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Gasol, good, and Butler gets the assist. Gasol's got his first two points of the night. Nice scoring move inside. Gasol undeterred with a hand in his face. Celtics trail by 20. Edwards kicks to Martin. Puts up a three. Gasol finds Edwards. Now here's Butler to the paint. Gasol and the layup falls. Gasol with a terrific skill set. Gasol remains one of our better scores inside. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. All right, fans, give it up for something entertainment.
Here's Brunson. Hits from the high post. And the Bulls lead by 20. A whole great pass from Robinson. Scanning the floor there and spotting the open teammate. And so it's the Chicago Bulls closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we'll be right back after this. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Celtic shooting at 50% in a decent group. So with Duncan sitting on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. Kevin McHale out there with Bird. Then it's Jalen Brunson. Then it's Robinson. And it's Irving at the two spot. Irving for three. A three-pointer is right on target. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. And here's Brunson following John Moran's three. Takes it inside and finished off by Morant. Off the dribble, Morant is so dynamic, even his teammates look a little stunned. The shot's good from Brunson. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Irving with a clean look from outside off the mark. Celtics trail by 16. Gasol is screen on Brunson. Morant passes to Gasol. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Off on the timing, or it may have been a miscommunication. Either way, turnover. So Chicago ends up going with the new group. Here's Frazier. That's good, and it's Embiid with the assist. Embiid's got three assists now in this one. Here's Morant. Duncan with the block. He's the defensive anchor for this team. Duncan excels at reading shooters and then altering their shots. Now Duncan after the missed three from Garnett. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. The Bulls leading by 19 points. Frazier dishes to Embiid, 11 feet away, and the jumper falls for him. Yeah, this is the beauty of Embiid's game. Uh, he has a shot from anywhere on the floor. Here's LeBron. Gasol, wide open. He fires. That one's good from the corner. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Here's Frazier. Outside for Pippen. Three-pointer, Wade. It's rebounded by Kevin Garnett. Aggressive closeout on a great jump shooter. That's how you defend against the three. And there's the defensive three-second call. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Bull. They've managed to force plenty of turnovers and are routinely converting those extra possession into points. And another thing, guys, they've dominated on fast breaks tonight, outrunning their opponent the entire game. On defense, Chicago. 22 is their biggest lead. With authority, Pau Gasol turns up the aggressiveness. Always a good sign for this team. Here's Wade. Right into the hoop. And then Wade slams it in. Straight power, homie. I mean, he ripped it down <laughs> with both hands. Absolutely a resounding dunk. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. Frazier and the rejection by James. Over LeBron. No, no, no. Going to have to try something different next time. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. The three from Anthony. That one's rebounded by Embiid. And so it's Frazier who will bring it up for the Bulls. The lead is 15. Shoots over Morant. 
Shot by Frazier, no good. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Morant. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. The Bulls leading by 15. Frazier kicks to MB. Takes the three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Garnett with a screen on Embiid. And Garnett with the basket on the assist by Morant. Morant's got four assists in the game. And when Garnett gets it that deep, the D is at his mercy. How about the extension when he's able to get up on that low block? Bangs home the trifecta. A late reaction defensively. He quickly takes advantage, grows their lead. You can't afford to give him space. Those kinds of mistakes have been the story of this game. Now Frazier after the missed three by Carmelo. Walt Frazier, that's his first personal foul. Celtics trail by 16. Knocks it loose. A solo fast break. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for Chicago. Their superior ball handling won it for them. And fewer turnovers equals greater scoring opportunities. Any coach will tell you that. If you take care of the ball every possession, and this is a perfect example of what happens when you do. The decision-making keeps improving. John Moran looking comfortable operating and pick and rolls. You know, give him credit for still battling here down the stretch, but I think it's too little too late. Pippen, no luck. Austin's gone two or five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. And the rejection by Pippen. Here's Anthony. Good D by Wade. There's the pass to Embiid. Another three for Chicago. Yeah, they've sucked the energy out of this arena. Tremendous effort on the road. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. Now Pippen, after the missed three by Carmelo. That one is good from Joel Embiid. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Wade passes to Frazier for three. The rebound by Garnett. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Morant. Pulls up on the wing. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled into this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take All right, David, thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports...